Right, this video here is for making a chicken stock. Remember, tagline for all our videos is about learning a new skill, maintaining a skill, or improving on your skills. Now this right here, in our, one of our previous videos, we broke down the whole chicken, and now we're gonna be turning the carcass and all trimmings into stock. Now, when we're making a stock, whether it be a chicken stock, beef stock, veal stock, any type of stock, you always look to have something called a mirepoix. A mirepoix is a collection of vegetables that are roughly chopped, which consists of onions, carrots, celery, leek. These add flavor to our stock. These help contribute to the overall end product as well. Now, in this instance, we're going to be making a chicken stock, two types of chicken stocks. We have the brown chicken stock, we have the white chicken stock. In order to achieve a brown chicken stock, we will roast off our bones, we will roast our mirepoix. Both of these are then added to a pot where water is added and the stock is allowed to cook. That's how you make a brown chicken stock. Roasting the bones, roasting the mirepoix. As today, like we're saying, we're going to be making a white chicken stock. We have our bones that we've given a wash. We add on fresh cold water. And our mirepoix of vegetables as well. Now the aim of what we're doing here is the bones cook the bones heat up, the bones release flavour. So, whenever you see your little oxo cubes at home, your little bullions at home, the little cubes, it always starts from something like this. So once we've got our cold water, our mirepoix, our chicken bones, you can in some instance add something called a bouquet garni, which is thyme, bay leaf, peppercorns, a blanket of herbs that also get added as well. We're taking our stock and it goes onto our stove. This needs at least a minimum of hour to an hour and a half, minimum. But the longer you leave it, the better the flavour would be. Throughout the cooking process, we do not want it to boil. If it starts boiling, our liquid reduces, not left with a lot. If it does happen to start boiling, do remember to top up with some more water. And throughout the process, it's always important that you do something called skimming. What tends to happen is, as the bones are cooked, bear in mind there is fat attached to some of these bones. We've got the wings in there as well. So that fat starts producing oil. This oil, we really don't want that to stay within our stock. So what's required is something called skimming to help remove that oil to improve the flavour of our stock. To do skimming, come in closer. How the process is works is using a ladle and using a jug to capture our waste. In the centre of the pot, we're doing a circular motion. This circular motion will start pushing all the fat to the edge. The fat, fat on the stock you will find is that oily substance that's usually at the top. More than likely it will be at the top. So this skimming is aim is to get rid of all that oily substance and any impurities that's also in the stock as well. So by doing this process it pushes all the impurities, pushes all the oil to the edges and then we're using our ladle and we will dip it slightly, just comes under the surface in order to take away that first layer. Just to take away that first layer, which will be that oil where it usually sits. Removing it and doing that process again. Your aim is to continuously and consistently do this throughout the cooking process of this stock to make sure the flavor is the best it can be. This is our stock chicken stock for today. 